Hi, I'm Dr. Doug Ritchie, and today we're going to talk about intrinsic posting of custom foot orthoses. Previously, we talked about adding a forefoot post to align the orthosis either into varus or valgus. And we talked about the advantages and disadvantages of placing a forefoot post on the orthotic shell itself. A better way, in many cases, to correct the alignment of the foot orthosis is to have the orthosis balanced with an intrinsic post. Now the concept of adding an intrinsic post or balancing a foot orthosis intrinsically is a somewhat complicated topic. And I'm going to take a few minutes to try to explain this to you in a simple manner. Here are two negative impression casts taken of two different patients, which captures two different forefoot to rear foot deformities. This cast captures a forefoot varus deformity, where with the heel in a neutral position, the forefoot is inverted to the supportive surface. And when I let go, the cast drops into eversion. This is a cast taken of a patient who has a forefoot valgus deformity, so that when their heel is perpendicular, there is a deformity where the forefoot is everted to the rear foot, and when we let the cast drop to the surface, the heel appears inverted to that exact amount of deformity. So the lab can actually correct this deformity and balance the cast and the foot orthotic so that the heel is now perpendicular to the supportive surface. And this is done in the following sequence. In the lab, the technician will apply a wedge, in this case medially, under the forefoot until the cast reaches a more perpendicular position at the rear foot to the supportive surface. And then the lab will fill this negative cast with plaster and they will produce a positive cast. Now the positive cast has to be balanced or corrected so that it sits perpendicular to the supportive surface. The lab will add a forefoot platform across the weight-bearing surface of the forefoot such that this platform will orient the rear foot either in a perpendicular attitude or in this particular case this is a Blake modification where the practitioner actually wants the cast to end up being inverted which is an extra correction to control pronation but it's all accomplished by this platform which balances this cast either perpendicular or to the degree the practitioner designates on the prescription form. In the end, when the orthosis is pressed on this corrected cast, that orthosis will set on the ground exactly as the cast was corrected. And this orthosis is now balanced with really an intrinsic post. The intrinsic post really changes the shape of the orthosis up in this area so that this contact area now mimics the contact area of the corrected positive cast. That's why we say this orthosis is intrinsically balanced. The balancing is built into the shape of the device, which is dictated by the positive cast. Somewhat complicated, but hopefully the end result is we understand that the lab can correct the alignment of the orthosis according to the specifications of the doctor by changing the alignment of the forefoot platform 
which starts out right here. Now, not all casts show a four-foot varus deformity. This is a cast with four-foot valgus, and in this case, the lab will correct it and pour it so that it's perpendicular, and they'll go through the same process of adding a platform and maintaining that alignment as it was poured originally per the doctor's prescription. So intrinsically balanced foot orthoses have the advantage of no bulk in the forefoot. We don't have this bulky post, so they may fit into the shoe a little better. They're going to be a little lighter. In the end, the correction we attain with a intrinsic post or an extrinsic post is identical. The overall alignment of the heel to the ground is dictated by either method of posting. What's exciting about this whole process with correction of the positive cast, the balancing platform, and ultimately correcting the alignment of the orthosis can all be accomplished with the new process of digital casting and digital correction of the cast for fabrication of the orthosis. We can accomplish the exact same thing with the practitioner ordering on the prescription form how they would like that cast corrected, but instead of correcting with plaster, it's corrected digitally on the computer. Quite exciting, quite phenomenal that that can be done now with a lot more ease for the practitioner who takes a digital cast in the office and sends that image to the lab and they get started with that correction the same day. So keep that in mind. If you're not using digital technology for your orthosis fabrication, it's time to look into it because it offers a lot of advantages.